Hello and welcome to the English News on Somala National Television with me Nuruddin Abdullahi Alijog and these are the main top stories making the headlines. Somalian President meets his Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network Delegation. Director General of Industries assumes his office. Golis University in the capital donates health supplies to Beershina MCH Center. Somalian President Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silayo received at the Presidential Palace a high level delegation from Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network. With the delegation discussed with the President several points concerning environmental protection. The meeting was aimed to discuss tapping into environmental knowledge in the region that is not currently being utilized to its full potential. The president's meeting with the delegates saw the attendance of members of the cabinet ministers. The two sides discussed about the significance of strictly working on improving environmental development, where the president has shown an excitement for holding the Conference of Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network this year in Somaliland. The president showed commitment in carrying out all they can to ensure environmental protection. Today, you are buried to Argesa, and in the name of the people of Somaliland, I would like to warmly welcome you to your second home. Dear delegates, allow me to welcome all the esteemed guests that are honoring our city with their visit, namely Dr. Shaddad Maawiyah the regional president of the Horn of Africa Environmental Network, and Dr. Arya Asfaw, the executive director of the Horn of Africa Environmental Center. We are a people with a tradition deeply rooted into pastoralist life, where plants, people, animals, and their environment are totally interdependent. And we are deeply affected when the, government, when the environment is neg negatively impacted by any kind of pollution and degradation. Today, the negative effects of environmental pollution are commonly evident in the form of unclean air and water, the two essential elements to sustain life. And the most common pollutants causing environmental pollution or, say, unhealthy environment are usually chemicals, plastic garbage, and wastewater. The, environment, the environmental pollution is happening in many parts of the world, but our situation in Somalia is very critical since the international community is refusing us any form of recognition. Many developed countries have introduced certain laws to not only regulate various types of pollution, but also the laws to mitigate, to mitigate the adverse effects of pollution if we want to keep our environment safe and healthy. Proper pollution control environment soon becomes unhealthy. The answer is to push for environmental governance, and I would like to assure you that the government of Somaliland is committed into strengthening the legal framework and policies to consolidate the vision of a sustainable country. I would like to mention one example, the law preventing the use of plastic bags introduced under the leadership of Mrs. Shukri Haji Ismail Pandara, the Minister of Environment. We will continue our work to protect our environment from the different landscapes where our livestock is the backbone of our traditional life to the rich and long sea coast of Somalia. And we hope that we will continue to count on your strong support in our long endeavor. Thank you very much indeed. When is the meeting between the two sides ended? Somaliland Minister of Environment Shukri Haji Ismail Bandare has discussed about the main core idea of the conference. This was to ensure collectively to work together on eliminating the environmental degradation. Conclusively, Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network have presented an honorary certificate to the President of Somaliland. His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mohamed Silanyu for prioritizing developing environmental protection 
which led the president to recently issue presidential degree in banning use of the plastic bags within the country. Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network organized a workshop designed to raise the significance of environmental protection for the local university students in the capital city of Somalia. Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network organized a workshop designed to raise the importance of environmental protection for local universities in the capital. The workshop saw the attendance of local universities of Gold, Sargeza and New Generation. German of Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network speaking to the attendees on the occasion has stressed on the significance of strictly working on improving environmental protection. She stated that the plan of Horn of Africa Regional Environment Center is to focus on eliminating environmental devastation that's commonly accustomed by members of the community residing in rural and urban areas for minor benefits. She urged youth in attendance to join in working on the government campaign in eliminating all hostile environment. Horn of Africa Regional Environment Network has offices in Djibouti, Kenya, Somaliland and Ethiopia and mainly works on tapping into environmental knowledge in the region that is not currently being utilized to its full potential. In a well-organized ceremony and event held at Somaliland Minister of Industries headquarters in the capital, newly appointed Director General of Industries took the office. The event had in attendance by cabinet members including Industries Minister and the Minister of Interior Ali Mohamed Warren Ade, as well as the Ministerial Employees. Former Director General of Industry, Maulid Adam Wuris, who very still spoke at the faction, has deeply informed about the Ministry's tasks and appreciated to the Ministerial employees at large for the respectable way they have been working with him during his era. He also recommended the incoming Director General to perform this national duty in a good manner and welcome him with open heart. On the other hand, the newly appointed director indicated that he is very satisfied with the new duty appointed by the president of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silayu. Other key speakers, including the First Minister of Industries, have collectively spoke about the significance of the role for the Ministry of Industry in the economic growth and the local production progress. At the conclusion, Shaib Mohamed Mose, Somaliland Minister of Industries, has officially transformed powers between the outgoing and the incoming Director General. This comes after a huge reshuffle made by Somaliland President in the past month. Somaliland Ministry of Health, joined by Gullis University officials, organized an event which Gullis University donated health supplies to Safe Mother and Jail Center at Piashina District just outside of the capital. The vice president of Gullis University, speaking on the occasion, has stated that they've managed to install university medical doctors who are supposed to provide health supplies to save mother and child organization with the aim of contributing improving health facilities in the district. The university officials have likewise promised to pay salaries of the medical doctors working in the MCH center. Vice President of Golis University on the occasion has discussed about the various number of health supplies they've donated to the organization of Safe and Child in Bioshina District, which lies just a few kilometers away from the capital city of Somaliland. Director General of Health Ministry has conclusively expressed thanks to Golis University for implementing such tremendous project to amplify the health facilities and MCH premises, which they've equipped to further increase the health efficiency in the district. That's all news that we have for you at the moment. Until we meet in the next, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.